The CW Twin Cities presents See What's Now, your entertainment news source. Hey everybody, John Foss, CW Twin Cities, and I'm hanging out at Go 95.3 right now. I'm talking with Peter Parker, yeah, man. DJ Bonix, and we are talking BFGS. Yeah. Tell me what it's about. Amazing. This weekend, Wiz Khalifa is going to be the headlining act. It's at the Fine Line Outdoors. We got Vince Staples. Yep. Black Bear's making a comeback. Right. Mm -hmm. St. Paul's own uh, Bobby Rapp's going to be there. And an amazing lineup of local artists. Free Wi-Fi, Mac Irv, Games FM, Finding Novion's about to go on tour. We got him. So very, very cool stuff. Man. Mm -hmm. and, and a couple of little special yeah, guests. Some little surprises. Yeah. Uh, Fine Line celebrating 30 years. So cool. kind of adding to that whole that legendary status. Yeah, cool. really cool, man. Downtown nice. Minneapolis, Sunday, July 30th. So how much is it and where can people get tickets? What are you doing? Uh, you yeah, they can go to goamen.com or okay. Ticketfly. Uh, if they go to our website, goamen.com, they can search BFGS. Hopefully, well, hopefully or not hopefully, there will be walk up depending. You know, we want it yeah. to sell out. We could be sold out. We could be sold out by yeah. the time. So, you know, get right. your tickets cool now. Cool after party at Fine Line afterwards. Mm -hmm. Right. A lot of stuff going on that day. It's going to be really, really fun. Cool. You put this whole thing together. So tell me about that process. How it did you. It was amazing, man. Was, like, you know, we wanted Wiz. That was, that's what we went to. We went for mm -hmm. Wiz as the headliner. Um, I went out to LA to Def Jam and I kind of negotiated this whole Vince Staples thing, knowing he had a great big album right. coming out. Um, and then Black Bear, amazing. We secured him. He sold right. out Myth, and we got him right after that. Right. Um, so and he's coming back. The thing about Wiz too is that he's only doing like festival dates. So because I DJ for Wiz Khalifa, mm -hmm. and this is like my new home, radio home, we were able kind of to finesse him to come and uh, do a special show for us. Yeah, very cool. Yeah, very, very cool. So you, you're Wiz Khalifa's DJ, Yeah, right? I've been uh, almost eight years. I've been helping him out though since he was like, you know, 14, 15, 16, seeing the whole come up. And uh, just to see this guy, you know, go from South Africa to Saturday Night Live, I've been with him on, mm -hmm. on every step of the way. So you will be performing? Yeah, well? I'll be there hitting the wah, 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 and yeah, yeah put the hands up. So, yeah, and yeah, 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 he so, got it, man. Yeah. You know, cool. it'll be a good time. All right, cool. So what, what's Wiz Play the like? Uh, he's great. I mean, you know, to see him go from you know, interning in a studio to, you know, being a fashion icon, mm -hmm. uh, a music icon, and, you know, being in the little weird parts of the world just isn't a testament to, to like, just how big he is. And he, you know, he, for, for a guy with all the fame, he really, mm -hmm. He has his head on straight. He's a good guy. He, you know, he pays it forward, and uh, it's just been a wonderful experience. You know? Tell us what people are going to see when they're here. Oh man, they're going to see one of the best shows of the summer, and, and a really a cool, like, smooth moving show. We have right. DJs between all the mm -hmm. acts. The local artists are going to be like, yo, they're going to be the right. best you've seen so far in the Twin Cities, and it'll be a lot of fun. We have a skate demo, mm -hmm. we have food trucks, right. we have a cool VIP section that's already kind of sold out. The station is only like a year and some change old, so this right. is our very first big fancy go show. So I think this is like history in the making, you know, uh, the fact that we can bring these big artists and support local artists, like, you know, not a lot of radio channels even put local artists on. Right. And, and I was right. talking to you guys before this interview and you guys, you guys said that something that surprised me that Mi Minneapolis is one of the, the best hip hop um, play, play, yeah. the best places for hip hop music in the country. I'm going to oh, tell yeah. you, man, tell as far that. as local artists go, I've mm -hmm. worked in Washington, D.C., Cleveland, Boston, New York. I've been in and out of Philly. I've been down to Atlanta, L.A. I'll tell you, man, this is the best local community of artists in the whole country. And the way that the people, like just like the consumers and the average people, support the local right, artists. Right. They're stars here, man. So it's like it's our job to push them because really they speak right. on behalf of the community. You know? And sound, you know, uh, Minnesota hosts Soundset, which is the biggest one day hip-hop festival in the whole world so and that's been going on for years so just to see mm -hmm. that thrive uh, you know for that long it's just a testament to the intelligence of the hip-hop community man and this show is unique because you do have um, some of the biggest names in hip-hop but you also have like you guys said these local artists it's a very unique show yeah and you guys are a unique unique radio station tell yeah. me about the culture here and why you guys are different than other more traditional corporate yeah. radio stations? I mean, I think uh, we are a reflection of the market, you know, where we don't necessarily allow corporate playlists to dictate what we do for the people. Mm -hmm. But because we were talking about how unique the market is, we can put on a unique radio station that, you know, serves, you know, the top shelf hip hop stuff, plus the backpack stuff, plus the boom bap, the old school, the new school, plus local and real personalities that have been in the music business, that have stories that they can share mm -hmm. about, uh, you know, and have relationships with artists. You know, it's not just a guy they plug in and we have to think, hey, mm -hmm. he's just gonna tell us what's cool or not. You know, it's, right. it's a great, just, uh, 
you know, the community and, and yeah. the radio station work hand in hand to, to make it just like a reflection of, you know, the Twin Cities. Both mm -hmm. of us have been DJing since we're about 16 years old. So living this culture for our entire lives. We're like not guys who show up and I'm not pretending here for the day. Mm -hmm. Like this is like a life commitment for us. Right. We live this whole thing. This guy was living on, sleeping on couches uh, in LA last year and then going up and getting jobs in Portland and bouncing around. Mm -hmm. I've worked at five or six different radio stations in the last 10 years. You know, we really, um, we live this man. Right. And to be able to share our experiences and share incredible music with a very intelligent audience, it's a pleasure, dude. Right. And you said that because of the culture here, that some of that you guys have actually had the opportunity within the country to make artist careers because yeah. you guys can, when you hear something you like, you don't have to go through any checks and balances. You can get it on the air right, right. away. Half the time, I'm calling the record company and right. telling them Tell about them. an artist that they have signed that they don't even right. know about, really? and I'm playing the record. And they go, "Who's this guy?" I'm like, "He signed mm -hmm. to you." Right, right. And they don't even know what right. it is. And all of a sudden, mm -hmm. six months later, now they're promoting the same artist. Like, didn't I? Put you right. that half a year ago, like, and then they'll call us and and be like, "Hey, I see you're playing one of these artist songs." Like, you know, record labels will will dictate what they want the single mm -hmm. to be, but we'll be like, "No, that doesn't fit for us. Mm -hmm. This fits for us." Right on the same album, same artist. Right, and you know, some of them love that, and some of them are kind of like, "Yo, the rest of the country's not kind of giving us backlash." Right. We're like, "No, nah, we we do what we want here," and to a certain degree of. Being tastemakers, they hire us to be tastemakers, right. which is you know a good feeling that they trust our our art. You know? So there's a lot of hip hop artists around the country that owe you guys big time. Oh yeah, yeah. Definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. definitely. But we owe hip hop big time. 100%. So it's uh, just 100%. 100%. a it's a uh, you know culture. You know uh, yeah. they say do it for the culture, and and I like to say like we want to make sure that we are not like a blemish in it you know mm -hmm. we want to make sure that when they look back in the book of hip-hop that like hey in the middle of the country it wasn't new york it wasn't la it wasn't atlanta right, it right. was minneapolis home of prince and bob dylan's and you know zubas that a uh, dope hip-hop radio Zubas station yeah yeah you know go wants us to be as much as the stars with the music which yeah. is which is great you know we're not just the announcer we're you know they they want us they want minneapolis and the twin cities to get to know us just like their favorite artists. Yeah. Cool. Very cool stuff. Cool. DJ Bonix, Peter Parker. My man. Appreciate it. Appreciate, appreciate you, man. We're going to work on those Zubaz for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, sure. With the sure. Velcro top. Oh, I can't yeah, wait. Yeah, Maybe yeah. get like a, one of those, what are these things called? Fanny, fanny pack. pack. Yeah, I know, yeah, I saw yeah, what yeah. you were doing. I know what <laughs> yeah. you're talking about. I, yeah. I can say it. Right, right. Fanny, right. Perfect. Hot pink fanny pack and an orange and black joints. Okay. Let us know when you stand up so we can, you know. Yeah, we got it. All right, all right. We'll learn how to. We got it. All right, thanks guys. Perfect. Appreciate you. Great. Love it. Thank you, man.